If you're thinking that the idea of Mars exploration is still a distant dream, you're mistaken. Recently, the leading mind in Mars colonization, Elon Musk, has just announced the latest schedule for Starship's mission to the Red Planet. What once seemed like a fantasy is now on the verge of becoming a reality. All will be revealed in today's episode of Alpha Tech. But before we get into the main content, I want to tell you, thank you all for supporting our channel throughout this time. We're now getting very close to the 100,000 subscriber mark. To hit that number, we do need your help. Please hit the subscribe button now so you won't miss out on any exciting content and also give us the motivation to continue creating every day. And now, let's continue. Elon's surprise announcement came in response to a post by Bill Ackman promoting a Make America Healthy Again ad posted by RFK's former running mate, Nicole Shanahan. Without our health and that of our children, we have nothing, Ackman wrote. And for those who care about our economy, national debt and deficits, there's no more important initiative. Musk used Ackman's tweet as a jumping off point to discuss how colonizing Mars could improve humanity. Elon's plan to reach Mars isn't five or six years out, as we usually predict, but an astonishing two years from now, meaning 2026. The first starship to Mars will launch in two years when the next Earth-Mars transfer window opens. These will be uncrewed to test the reliability of landing intact on Mars. If those landings go well, then the first crewed flights to Mars will be in four years, Elon tweeted. This goal is considered a bold change, since just this April, Elon said the first uncrewed starship would land on Mars within five years, with the first humans getting there within seven. This timeline demonstrates the rapid progress in the starship testing so far. He believes that shorting the timeline is enough to allow a thorough analysis of uncrewed missions data and make necessary adjustments to ensure human safety. The first astronauts to set foot on Mars are going to face unprecedented challenges. From the psychological stress of interplanetary travel to the physical demands of living in a low-gravity, high-radiation environment. On top of that, Elon also outlined his vision for building a self-sustaining city on Mars. Flight rate will grow exponentially from there with the goal of building a self-sustaining city in about 20 years. Being multi-planetary will vastly increase the probable lifespan of consciousness as we will no longer have all our eggs literally and metabolically on one planet. Elon aims to ramp up frequency of rocket launches soon after the initial crewed landings. The subsequent flights will carry supplies to support self-sufficiency, including food production, water extraction and recycling, electricity generation, the manufacturing of essential goods, and comprehensive health care services. Everything would function like a fully developed city on Mars by 2050. Achieving this capability is crucial for the long-term survival and growth of the Mars colony. One of the main arguments for colonizing Mars is the preservation and expansion of human consciousness. By becoming a multiplanetary species, humanity could significantly reduce the risk of extinction due to Earth-bound catastrophes. This concept of spreading human presence across multiple worlds as a safeguard for our species' survival is a driving force behind the mission's philosophy. Elon also mentioned his brainchild Starship, the rocket crucial to the success of this grand goal. With its groundbreaking capabilities, Starship is the first fully reusable rocket stage and much more importantly, made the reuse economically viable, he added. Making life multiplanetary is fundamentally a cost per ton to Mars's problem. It currently costs about a billion dollars per ton of useful payload to the surface of Mars. That needs to be improved to a hundred grand a ton to build a self-sustaining city there, so this technology needs to be 10,000 times better. Indeed, the main obstacle to becoming a multiplanetary species is the enormous cost of getting materials and humans to the red planet. The cost of a billion dollars per ton to Mars is prohibitively expensive for large-scale colonization efforts. At this price point, only government-funded missions or extremely well-funded private ones can attempt Mars missions, and they're limited in scope and frequency. That's why Elon's aiming for a lower target of $100,000 per ton. At this price point, Mars colonization becomes feasible on a larger scale. It would allow for the transportation of not just essential equipment and supplies, but also the material needed to build habitats, greenhouses, power generation systems, and other infrastructure necessary for a self-sustaining colony. And this represents a 10,000-fold improvement in Starship's technology, potentially requiring advancements in propulsion systems, reusable rocket technology, in-situation resource utilization, life support systems, material science, and energy production. However, Elon's final statement 
extremely difficult but not impossible, it reflects his characteristic optimism in most space projects, affirming that human ingenuity and technological advancements can overcome the challenges. History has shown that rapid technological progress is possible when there's enough motivation and resources. The journey toward this goal, regardless of its ultimate success, has the potential to bring significant and technological benefits to humanity. Elon also posted a short animation of a fleet of six starships headed for the majestic red planet. Impressive, right? But it may depend more on the frequency of test flights. They need to be allowed to launch Starship more often. So, how have Elon and SpaceX prepared to turn Mars into a human colony? Elon has a history of taking on seemingly impossible challenges and often succeeding against the odds. However, his vision for colonizing Mars pushes ambitious goals to their most extreme and perhaps unrealistic limit. Mars remains unexplored by humans, with NASA not expecting to land an astronaut there until the 2040s. The planet presents numerous challenges, a desolate landscape, freezing temperatures, dust storms, and an unbreathable atmosphere. Despite these obstacles, Musk is deeply committed to establishing a civilization on Mars, so much that he's expressed a desire to spend his final days there. This Martian dream drives nearly every business venture he's launched on Earth. According to documents and insider sources, most of the six companies Musk leads or owns could potentially contribute to an extraterrestrial colony. For instance, the Boring Company, Musk's private tunneling venture, was partially conceived to develop equipment for burrowing beneath the Martian surface. Musk stated that his acquisition of X was partly motivated by a desire to test how a citizen-led consensus-based government might function on Mars. He also envisions Mars colonists driving a version of Tesla's Cybertruck, adapted for the planet's conditions. Musk, whose net worth is approximately $270 billion, has publicly stated that he accumulates assets, including a Tesla pay package worth $47 billion, primarily to fund his Mars ambitions. During a 2022 court testimony, he explained, it's a way to get humanity to Mars because establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars will require a lot of resources. Over time, Elon has shared his various ideas about life on Mars. One recurring theme is the continuation of human life on the planet. While scientists are still uncertain about human reproduction in space, Musk stated that children won't be part of the initial Mars missions due to the risks involved, though he envisions them living there eventually. Musk has a controversial plan to address this. In a 2013 interview, he suggested creating a new species on Mars through bioengineering an idea he has repeated to SpaceX employees and associates over the years. He explained, I think it's quite likely that we'd want to bioengineer new organisms that are better suited to living on Mars. Humanity's kind of done that over time by sort of selective breeding to tackle Mars's frigid temperatures. Elon proposed in a 2022 podcast interview using a series of thermonuclear explosions to create artificial suns warming the planet. Additionally, hundreds of solar panels, potentially made by Tesla, would help heat homes and generate energy, according to sources familiar with his plans. Recently, Elon's ideas have evolved into a more concrete planning by SpaceX employees. The industrial design team began creating and updating renderings for a Martian city. The envisioned colony centers around a large communal dome surrounded by smaller ones. Current discussions focus on materials for these structures, with Elon particularly concerned about the city's aesthetic appeal. An internal drawing obtained depicts a family with a young children in a dome neighborhood, stargazing. In April, Elon told SpaceX employees that the Mars colony would be self-sustaining, preparing for potential isolation from Earth. To achieve this self-sufficiency, Elon plans to use Starship as a modern Noah's Ark, transporting plants and animals on the initial voyage. Martian residents would then construct greenhouses for food production. SpaceX has partnered with Impossible Foods not only to provide plant-based alternatives in SpaceX cafeterias, but also to test these products as a potential protein source for Mars colonists. And it's not just Elon Musk. Many of SpaceX's more than 12,000 employees believe in life on another planet. What they have to achieve success is unity and teamwork. This enthusiasm is evident in their Occupy Mars or Rocket Parent t-shirts and their suggestions for the Mars colony on an internal platform. One recent proposal involved building the city on the side of a massive crater. The Mars project involves teams in Boca Chica, Texas and SoCal, with some employees commuting weekly. Many work over 100 hours a week, demonstrating their commitment. 
Notably, an email from a female manager who was about to leave described the work hours and conditions as rigorous, but also praised the company as an incredible place and said she has no regrets. Although Elon's presence in Boca Chica has decreased recently, with his visits dropping from weekly to monthly, sometimes occurring in the middle of the night with his young son, his determination for a Martian civilization seems unwavering. Elon told SpaceX employees in April that he expects a million people to be living on Mars in the next 20 years, and his latest tweet confirmed this firmly. In May, when a NASA official stated that they didn't expect to send humans to Mars until the 2050s, Elon responded saying it would take less than 10 years to get people there and 20 to build a city there. Less than five years for uncrewed, less than 10 to land people, maybe a city in 20 years, but for sure in 30, civilization secured. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.